Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. I'm hoping you guys are all having a fantastic day. So today's upload is getting recorded as of 11.19 p.m. for you at uh, July 16th. Uh, 2019 and uh, this will be uploaded on July 17th 2019 so uh, if there there's little, there's not gonna be much change because it's short uh, it's long range so you know it's less variable very there's less variability when it comes to a couple of hours of difference so uh, um, you know if you want to support this channel you could subscribe I really appreciate that if you like these weather uploads and I first want to sh tell you guys something for foremost because many people for some reason <clears throat> many people for some reason are not uh, understanding what I meant by long range forecast so yes there will be a heat wave for the next couple of uh, days into Sunday because many people are saying yeah, you know what uh, where's the heat so or where's the cold so there is gonna be heat and that's not out of the question i mean that's, that's not you know that's that's not gonna not happen there's gonna be hot temperatures however relief is on the way just not immediate relief not in the next one to two days it's in the next i would say week next monday next tuesday it should really start cooling off that's why it's called the long range and for some uh, people, I guess that's just too hard to understand. So uh, if we were to go into the anomalies, you could see that right now, yes, very warm. And you could see as of when the temperatures show, it's not even going to be too terribly hot until we get into Thursday. You could see right there, it gets very warm. And, I mean, it just gets very hot. A heat wave takes hold. But notice there's, there's a little bit chillier air storing up across that area. And this eventually just storms and expands for much of the u.s and you can see this is now tuesday july 23rd we see below average conditions reaching texas louisiana alabama mississippi georgia and uh, tennessee kentucky illinois iowa kansas nebraska and you know uh, many states that are in this blue will be seeing early from the heat and that's, that will be much uh, wanted by many and you can see this is the new model run this is zero zero z wednesday so it's like the midnight one kind of and it only goes out to 180 hours but i don't think much have ch much has changed from the previous uh model runs it's just that uh you know the cold will or the, the cold the chillier conditions will be uh definitely there you can see that it stays there for mm, quite a while uh, this is wednesday july 24th already i mean it starts depending where you live i mean i guess we could just count it right there for north starts monday and it's wednesday and it's still there and if we were to go to an older model run let's go to the uh, the 6, uh, the 12Z, because that one I feel has a better handle on it than the 18Z. What I've noticed is that, uh, the 18Z tends to be a little bit biased towards the warmth, and while the 00Z tends to be a little bit biased towards the coolness, and I was just showing you the 00Z, but let's look at the 12Z. I think that one just does the best job in general. It doesn't show too hot, doesn't show too warm. It kind of takes the equivalent of both. But still, you can see it still shows that chilly conditions, those chilly conditions for most of next week. And then it starts falling apart. The warm air starts breaking in there. But then we could still see another shot of cooler air. And you can see um, it will be warm, and especially the, the, the cool anomalies will be a Occurring during the day the days will be much cooler and the nights however will be around average you could see it's 12 Z so that's around 7 o'clock in the morning on Tuesday uh, the night is average but then if you jump to the day the day is much below average it just does not get as warm and you can see that's actually fairly significantly below average again um, this you could see that that wave of cooler air yet another one so this is not going to be in the next couple of days this is going to be next week starting uh towards the north if you live in minnesota wisconsin south dakota north dakota i know i have viewers from there iowa nebraska uh you will be seeing this cool cool weather uh starting late sunday monday and then it will spread to the south so yes there uh, will be heat and that's uh you know many people are still upset about the fact that uh i remember i i forecasted a heat wave or i forecasted sorry i forecasted a cooler uh, a cooler july which didn't really turn out 
you know, completely off because you could see this coolness did come eventually. It just came a little bit later in July. And the reason for that is, is because of this hurricane, Hurricane Barry that came up. It pushed this warm air, created this hybrid heat wave. And now the remnants are still here and they're creating all this uh, heat. And this is, uh, it's, it's pushing this, there's a lot of meteorology behind it, but basically it's pushing uh, hot air f out in front of it. The west is becoming its zonal flow. That is just a hybrid heat wave and it's producing these tight gradient lines with just rise and expand and they fall and you could see that there's going to be a giant heat wave. So this just basically got pushed back a couple of weeks back. And I, you know, I, I wasn't completely far off. And if we were to look at the 8 to 14 day outlook, July 24th to 30th, uh, it's it's just below average for much of the country and remember last time I was showing you this it was it was not showing this the climate prediction center wasn't showing this yet they were still showing above average well now they have adjusted and they're showing below average and precip is not really relevant I mean uh, other than the areas that are already waterlogged uh, Louisiana Texas uh, you could see that's going to be the only area of concern here across the west. Um, they they kind of need it. They don't. They, you know, it's just rain. Uh, here we kind of do need it across the east and midwest, but um, that's I don't think it's going to be too cause too much cause of concern. But if you don't believe the GFS, let's go to the GEFS. If you're still not, you know, if you don't like the GFS for some reason, you are, uh, you are, uh, you know, a one of those silly people that think that the GFS is powered by the evil. Um, <laughs> yes, I've I've been getting comments like that, which is ridiculous. <laughs> I just I, I let's just move on with this. So this is the GEFS, which are uh, basically not just the GFS. It's a bunch of members of the GEFS. FS ensembles and you can see right now yes warm very warm but then notice how it starts building up across the west and then next uh, you could see Sunday um, into Monday it starts across the north uh, the sneaks and look at that uh, this is just it's just chilly it's below average not in ridiculously below average but it's there it's two to four to six degrees below average taken from where we were six to ten degrees above average that's around a 12 to you know, 10 degree difference uh, 10 to 12 to 15 degree difference which is gonna be a even more in some areas from where we're looking at there could be some areas looking at the hundreds and then with this uh, cool off they could be looking at the upper 70s so about 20 degrees of uh, difference which is definitely enough and you can see this ensemble actually has the cool weather going through august into august august 1st so that's interesting um also if i were to show if you're still for some reason thinking that the gefs is powered by the evil you could see that um uh, the let's go to the G, G, the European model. I'll show you the European model. The ECMWF. That's the Euro model. That is completely different, not associated with the GFS. Um, it's called the European model. That's for a reason. And you can see it doesn't show that two meter temperature anomaly at the surface. It shows it uh, in a different uh, in a different category and different scale. So I'll go to the 500 middle bar height anomaly, and I can explain to you where the cold will be based on looking at this. So right now you could see there. We could tell there's gonna be a heat wave based on this the European model you know why because if we draw this out you could see all these lines of tight pressure right here it and this air is basically just rising all up here and it's causing a lot of warm air notice however that if we go a little bit forward into our say 96 it starts a little bit getting the the, the bars of pressure are starting to become and the bars of millibars are starting to become a little bit more uh, slanted they're becoming a little bit more into a negative phase and uh, when we go completely into say our 144 we notice how there's a dip at this point if I were to quickly demonstrate this for you there's a ridge right here and there's a trough right there that's just classic allowance um, that's a classic uh, setup to allow cool air to rush in especially for the east turn part of the country and this could produce some cooler conditions and if we keep going forward with the G, uh, with the European model say to our 192 you can see it maintains that our 216 and our 240 still somewhat right like that uh, the ridge may be pushing over a little bit so we may be seeing some additional heat but definitely a cool off is on tap um, uh, for at least a week to week and a half so if you're sick and tired of this heat, I'm telling you that you'll be uh, looking at some relief for, you know, for 
a ex extended period of time, which many people would like. And 6 to 10 day outlook, July 22nd through the 26th, you could see below average as well. And just a little bit, of, uh, quite a bit actually, possibly above average across the West. But that's again with that ridge that I was showing you and drawing it out. And still possibly below average for the Midwest, which isn't good, but uh, that's how it is. So thank you guys so much for watching. Consider liking the video. Consider subscribing to this channel. I'll catch you all guys in the next episode. See ya. Bye.